Hello, good afternoon. Okay, sorry for the surprise in last minute session. Uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts about the exam which happened today in Pakistan and those who are appearing tomorrow and if they have any questions so we can further clarify their worries. So if we have anyone who is appearing in exam today or if anyone here have any question regarding the exam which happened today in Pakistan and they want to clarify their worry, I'm here to answer their questions. So let's wait for a couple of more minutes and let other people join as well. Then we can start our session and we can have some general discussion about MRC, PCH clinical and other parts if you guys want. So the main reason for us to come online uh, and do this session is just to Wish good luck to our Pakistani candidate who is going for exam, who are going for exam tomorrow and after tomorrow as well. We were planning to do this session yesterday, but unfortunately, uh, I got busy in the duty, so I couldn't manage and uh, then we decided to do it today. And this is general advice for everyone. Uh, anyone who is going for exam in near future or after some time, uh, this is general advice you should take when you are going for exam. So for me, the most important thing is when I'm going for exam, I like taking a good rest and I will recommend everyone that try to take a good rest before going to exam. Uh, the night before and the morning before the exam, I like taking a tablet of propranolol. A 10 milligram tablet is enough for me, but just make sure it works on you as well and your blood pressure is fine. I don't know uh, how many of you have tried that, but uh, normally, yes, uh, if I have exam, uh, either it's a small one or a big one, uh, I try taking a uh, proper and all and that keep me relaxed. I don't know if there is any uh, confirmed hypothesis behind that. It, it's, it works definitely or no, but yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, I will recommend uh, go early to the exam center and if possible, visit a day earlier because uh, to know the route to the exam and uh, to know if there is any mishap that might happen are going to happen so you should have an alternative plan for that and try to arrange an alternative always uh, if you are going by taxi try to contact someone for before so that uh, they can come on time and take you and always keep a second uh, option with you and even if you are going by car then try to go early because uh, they are engine anything can happen so try to reach on time and as as i mentioned earlier Try to listen to the senior examiner instruction very carefully. Uh, you will be divided in groups in the morning because there are 10 sessions, but normally there are 12 candidates in the one session uh, exam. So the history and development, they run parallelly and they divide you in two groups. It will be a red and blue or black and green something that depends on the station to station, uh, a place to place. So make sure uh, you follow the right and correct order and the examiner they, they will give you an envelope and the envelope will have uh, your exam sheets try to organize the exam sheets beforehand uh, like if your uh, station is starting with uh, for example clinical cvs so try to organize that in that way if your station is uh, number eight so try to make it the way eight nine ten then uh, follow the order whatever you are following so that uh, when uh, you are outside the station you don't waste time on this thing looking for the correct number because you are three minutes outside the station they are the most precious minute uh, which uh, you can use and you can refresh yourself and you can uh, regain your consciousness i will say i will prefer if you go and use the bathroom before uh, start of exam uh, even if you don't have to because you don't know in stressful situation, you might need to go to the bathroom and then they will allow you. There is no hard and fast rule that you cannot go to the bathroom. But if you are going to the bathroom during the uh, station break, the three minutes which you are using, it will be your three minutes. They are not going to give you any extra time for that. So before the exam starts, try to go to the bathroom even if you don't have the urgency. I will prefer if you can keep a water bottle with you, just a plain uh, 
mineral, mineral disposable water bottle with uh, see through so that they will allow you to take you with you inside. Normally, they are supposed to provide you with water outside each station, but you never know. Uh, every uh, every place is different. So try to keep a water bottle with you and take a sip in between. You can take the bottle with you inside the station as well. And if in case during the YY you think that uh, you need some couple of seconds to answer the question, try to pretend you are ta you are thirsty and you are taking a sip of water. Take a sip of water, the examiner will not uh, mind that thing and uh, he will not cut any marks for that. But that couple of seconds will give you some uh, bit of seconds and uh, some time and you can uh, think about that question and you can answer that. So the next thing which everyone keep on saying this thing, I know it's the most difficult thing that every station in the exam there were, uh, it has worth. So don't get stressed up if something goes wrong in one station, uh, one station, because you still have other station to uh, compensate for that. But if you will keep that station in your mind that, oh my God, I got uh, this bed and what will happen. So if you do that, so all the station will be gone. So if any station is, not good just try to leave that behind and move on because you can compromise on one station but if this keep on happening you keep this on your mind that this station was not good and you go to the another station and then again the same thing happened in another station so it's two station and then going on it will be three so try to leave behind every station once you are out of the st that station because that's that's already gone you cannot do anything with that even uh, if it's it was the worst station you cannot do anything because the time has been finished for that and uh, you have to move on uh someone is highlighting uh, i don't know it was it they are highlighting point 13 or point 14 so if you can write it in the chat or if you can speak it out i can answer that so the other thing, don't go on the look of the examiner. Examiners, they are trained so that they can give you strange looks. Uh, some of the examiner, they will be smiling with you. They will be very cool and they will be the worst examiner. And some examiners, they will be the toughest one. They can shout on you. They make, may make you cry, but uh, believe me, they might be the best examiner uh, when it comes to marking. If anything goes wrong in the exam, at the end of the exam, when the senior exam comes to you, uh, discuss with him, raise your complaint because you cannot apply for rechecking or remarking. But if the same uh, station, the marking is not good, you can at least write back to the role player that you discuss this thing with the senior examiner. Because when you are complaining to the senior examiner after the exam is finished, he writes he write down all the points with him. And these, uh, this, this discussion is going to Royal College as well. and. Uh, he will have chat with his examiners after the end of the end of the uh, exam. So if there is any problem with the examiner and the senior examiner raised the concern, then there is a chance that he might think about it and uh, there might be some leniency in the marking. So if any concern, try to raise this to the senior examiner and try to go to him to him in group. Like if you feel that examiner was not group uh, not good and others uh, candidate feel the same. So try to go to that examiner in a group. So uh, someone asked how many, sorry, how many paper you will get uh, all at a time and what should, yes, yeah, so uh, if you are asking about the, I don't know where I put uh, the exam sheets, just hold on a second. I don't have it now, but uh, the you will get an envelope and it will have uh, 10 uh, papers. It will be for all the stations. Four clinicals, one history, one development, two communication and two video. And you have to organize that paper in the way according to the circuit which you will, which you will be following. Like someone will start with video, someone will start with video one, someone with video two, someone with clinical. So. You, where you are starting, try to organize the in uh, the papers according to that. Say that so that you don't waste your time when you are in the exam, uh, because uh, when you are entering every station, you have to give that uh, a station paper to that examiner. 
so that he can give you mark and you have to leave that paper inside with the examiner. I hope this was the question. If the examiner has asked you to examine the chest, so that's it, why uh, we will do other things? Like, like one more thing I will tell you, uh, when any station, your time starts when they ring the bell outside the station. It's not exactly nine minutes what you get, like six minutes for the examination and three minutes for viva. It, not ex it is not exactly the six minute what you are getting for the examination. Your six minute starts when, they, uh, when you are outside the station and they will ring the bell. So entering the station, greeting the examiner, giving your paper to him, he will greet you and then you will sit and uh, uh, no, you will sit or you, he will give you command so at least 30 to 45 seconds uh, are wasted on this. So you are hardly getting five minutes to do the proper examination. So follow whatever command is. And in the end, if you finish what your command was, tell them, you, in order to complete my examination, I will do one, two, three, four. Because it was not your uh, command. Your command was to do chess, so do the chest examination. And if the time is finished, so tell him, I will do, uh, in order to complete my examination, I will do these relevant things. So there's more than enough for you. Uh, will we come to know the chronology of all our session before? And yes, this I'm saying, before exam start, the senior examiner, he will come to you in the morning and you will know what uh, order the exam will be running in and from where you will be starting. Then you can uh, organize your paper accordingly. In the clinical station, if you complete, if you complete your command, and if you still have time, and if you think there is something very relevant, yes, you can do that. But take permission from the examiner. But if you are end with time, you don't have any time, so you can just tell the examiner. Uh, in order to complete my examination, I will uh, do these re relevant things. Because uh, saying this sentence is also important because it will not be in the last three minutes of the viva. You have to like, for example, in the CVS, in order to complete my examination, I would like to check the full blood pressure. I will uh, like to do this, this, this. So they, all these things you have to tell him uh, before finishing the six minutes of your clinical uh, examination part, before going to the three minutes of viva. <laughs> Sorry, any question? Uh, so how do you time yourself? Uh, sorry, I'm not getting the question properly. Uh, what do you mean by how do you time yourself? If you mean to say like in the exam, uh, you will not be having any uh, any timer inside. So it's like you have to just guess that how the time is going on. And uh, in the exam, the time will be running. If your uh, question is how to know that how much time is left, so this all, it's your guess. And it's all from the previous uh, practice what you are doing, uh, you will have an idea that how much time do you need to do a certain say, a certain station. So it depends on uh, your uh, practice and your judging knowledge. You can wear a manual watch, I think if I'm not wrong, not the smart watch, but there too you will waste your time if you will keep on looking at your watch that how much time is left because it will also, uh, divert your mind and you may you might need uh, might lose the focus i hope this was a question uh, this is what i understood from that
any other question if anyone has so i am happy to answer if i can if i cannot then i will read about it as well and i can answer that i am happy to read for you and also about the examiners like these examiners they are preparing these cases for you like if today considering the neurology station exam so it he might not be a pediatric neurologist who is sitting in the exam and doing the neurology assessment he has just read that station for you and he has prepared that and royal college give them sufficient time to prepare the station for you if the development he is not a developmental assessment consultant he is he can be anyone he can be a pediatrician and who is doing a developmental assessment so don't think that uh, they are the master of that station they have just prepared like you are preparing you have preparing for last 2 to 3 months so you might be better than them because they have i think they get it before a week time or two week time hardly the station which they are going to uh, do an exam as an examiner so you are better than them the development says uh, station when you are doing and if you ask any question from the the consultant that if the child can do like this and if he don't know try to move on because that question might be not in his list with him and he might not be able to answer that question to you so if you ask him something and uh, he's not sure you can move on uh, from that question so uh, cases can repeat yes there is no like hard and fast rule that uh, if it came today it will not come tomorrow uh, i was surprised they said that in the morning the cases were different and in the afternoon because afternoon uh, scenarios i was not sure when uh, just someone shared now uh, when we plan to do this do this session i uh, go I, i went through the morning session and i was expecting that the same cases will come in the afternoon but it was to my surprise that the stations were changed a few of them uh normally what comes in the morning same will come in the afternoon and uh they might put something from it for tomorrow as well uh, like there is no hard and fast rule that it will not come it is rare that it will come but uh, it might come because uh, previously when the morning people they keep them waiting in the waiting area till the uh, afternoon candidates they come in they check in and they take their mobile phone then they let the morning people go so i think there might be some confusion that they let the morning people a bit earlier than the afternoon people checked in and uh, that might have led to the question our leaked in this uh, and the because now social media is everywhere so that might be the reason that they changed a few of the cases but if it happens tomorrow also if anyone is in the morning and someone is in the afternoon and they get some question in the morning uh even if they change try to read that scenarios before going to the exam uh, like if we see the video station were the same other i have not compared yet but the video station were same in the morning and the afternoon session any question any other question okay so try to dress in a way which you are comfortable with there is no a specific dress code uh better to wear a good dress in which you are comfortable and you know uh previously in uk one of the candidates she was going for exam and she went in a dress with a cartoons a female uh, doctor she went with a dress with a cartoons and it was appreciated because it was attractive to the uh, child children so if you go in a good dress uh, it's good you can carry a pen there is no any hard and fast rule and i will recommend if the weather is good uh, if it's not too much hot 
you can carry a pen. At least you can put your water bottle in one pocket, and you can put your pencil in uh, other uh, other pocket and uh, anything you need. So yes, you can uh, take a apron and uh, you can take a, your take your stethoscope as well. Take your steth as well. Uh, watch, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think that you can take a manual watch. <laughs> Sorry, but not a smart watch. Uh, you are not allowed to take any smart device or smart watch, but you can take a normal, uh, what they, they call that watch, I forgot the name, but uh, you can take a normal watch with a, sorry, I forgot the name of that watch, but you can take a normal watch. So you can roughly tell with uh, with your finger. No, you can like no need to take an inchy tape with you. You can just tell them roughly that uh, you think that his liver is this much centimeter. It will be rough. It will be a rough estimate. Yeah, no need to measure it accurately for them. Hello. Doctor, hello. Hello. Yeah, yes. doctor, I have a question. Uh, so uh, they will provide us uh, uh, 10 sheets for 10 station, right? Yes. And how many papers uh, they will provide us? Uh, no, so one is the examiner sheets on which examiner mark you. So these will be 10, mm -hmm. they will give you. Normally, uh, they are supposed to keep blank white paper and pencil or pen outside the station. So if you need to do any rough work, if you need to write the names, if you need to write your, uh, like if you are doing the history uh, and you want to write the headings for you. So they are supposed to provide with uh, white paper outside, outside the station with pen and pencil. But the uh, sheets which I am talking about, the 10 papers which they are giving, they are the examiner uh, on which they give you marks. So I was talking about that, that you have to organize because that you, when you enter in the station, you will give to the examiner uh, after greeting and he will take that uh, uh, paper from you. And he will not return that back to you because he has to mark you on that paper. If no question, then we can let tomorrow people study for the exam. Yes, so this is what I talked about. Uh, when you go in the morning time, the senior examiner, before the exam start, all the 12 candidates, they will sit in the room and he will have envelope with him. He will give you an envelope and you will uh, he will give you a card with your candidate number. Then you are uh, supposed to write your candidate number and your name on all the on all the sheet. Let me check if I can. Uh, Yeah, so uh, you can see the screen. I'm talking about these uh, these sheets. 
So you are supposed to write your candidate number here and you are supposed to write your name here. And you will be writing these in uh, these with the pencils. And you will organize this in the way, for example, you are starting with, if I take randomly, you are starting with two. So you will first put the two on the top and then you will see which pattern you are following. And then you will put all the papers in that order so that when you are entering the exam in the station, you will not waste time looking for that, uh, that uh, station sheet. Because you have to give this paper to the examiner inside in each station according to your number. And uh, after greeting him, you have to tell him this is your name and this is your candidate number. And you will have to hand over the uh, sheet to him. After that, he will write examiner number and he will mark you on that. And this will go to the Royal College for marking. Okay, if no question, then we can end the session. Thank you everyone for coming and joining us. Uh, I just wanted to say good luck to all of them who are going to appear in the exam tomorrow or after tomorrow or in this month or next month. I think some of our colleagues, they are going to be in the exam in Saudi as well. They are having exams, so good luck. Uh, believe me, you are the best and uh, you can do it. Just uh, keep keep have, have a faith in yourself. Nothing is impossible. You have made it through this way, and uh, it's just an exam. You are better than a lot of people who are just thinking. You know, I I know a lot of people who are just thinking of appearing in the exam, but they don't have the gut to go to the exam. So at least you have taken the step to go to the exam. So uh, it depends on the day. When it's your day, you will pass it. So thank you so much everyone for coming and I hope to hear good news from those who are appearing in the exam today, tomorrow or after tomorrow and good luck to everyone and also to those who with who we did the mock. I hope our mock exam helped them and uh, they will be same as happy after the exam when they were when we did the mock exam with them and I hope we get the same feedback from the examiner what feedback we gave them because we have that fee feedback with us in written form and we will try to compare that yeah, feedback yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, once their exam is finished and uh, they have the feedback from the examiner then we will see how accurate we are in doing the mock exam and marking them okay thank you so much take care have a lovely day bye thank you thank you bye